Pleased to be joined by Kendall Cornick of the Augustana softball team that won the 2019 NCAA Division II National Championship. And Kendall ended up getting the go-ahead hit and RBIs that gave Augustana the 6-4 victory over Texas A&M Kingsville to win the national championship. We're going to break down that at bat, and it was a very quick at bat here in just a moment. But I'll just ask you first, what do you remember about that Monday? Because you had to beat Texas A&M Kingsville twice in order to win that championship. So what was the mindset like going to the ballpark that day? Oh, well, I just remember, like, you think, like, let's just get to the national championship, you know, like, but you never think of how long the road actually is. We're going to take care of business and do what we came to do. I think that was the mindset amongst almost all of us. <laughs> so you guys obviously get to Denver uh, for the championships, advance all the way to the actual title game. It's a best of three series with Texas A&M and Kingsville. They beat you in the first game, 7-2. The, the pitcher, the winning pitcher for them, was a girl named Sadie Castillo, and she limited you guys to two runs, but you got one of those on a home run, and this is important to set up later. So even though you lost, you kind of had an idea of how she was pitching and knowing that she was probably going to be used at some point the next day. Did you kind of, in the back of your mind, think, okay, I know how to approach her if I face her again? Yeah, I mean, you're always thinking, and our coaches set us up pretty well for that, um, to kind of pick up patterns and – just kind of know who you are as a hitter so you know where they're going to attack you. And I remember kind of walking up there and seeing her pitch. She's a phenomenal pitcher. And I was like, finally, a fast, a really fast pitcher. Like, then hopefully I don't have to think as much, you know, when I'm up there. But when I was actually in the game, um, she threw me a lot of outside, you know, and I think that's what my home run was off. I'm pretty sure because it went to left field. So I knew that that was her initial game plan. So sometimes, especially – on lefties for some reason, if they see that you're hitting that outside, they try to come back in on you. So I was kind of prepared for both to happen. So the first game of the day, you guys win six to four to set up the winner take all game. And she's pitching in that second game. You had a couple of at bats against her. The first at bat, you hit a comeback or two, which she catches you line into a double play. Your second at bat, you walk on five pitches Third at bat, you ground out to second on an 0-1 pitch. It looked like you got jammed inside just a little bit. And then the fourth at bat is what we're going to talk about. So we'll set up the situation. Game is tied at four. You were down 4 nothing early. Came back tie at 4-4. Top of the sixth inning, two outs, and you swing on the first pitch. When you stepped up to the plate knowing the situation, was your mindset just to be aggressive from the very get-go? Well, actually, no. We took a team huddle right before that, or right before Matt bat. You know, there was Maggie, Mary, Ashley, Kara, bases loaded, and Coach Nat and Coach Melson, obviously. And I'm not sure which one, but I remember Coach Nat at the end. So I don't know which one said it first, but at the end, I just remember like, hey, she's just struggling a little bit. You know, she's just a little off. Like, you don't have to jump ahead. You don't have to go in there thinking like, you have to swing at the first two pitches or something. But um, that clearly, so I was actually going up there thinking, okay, like my coaches are never going to tell me to not swing at the first pitch. Like they don't want me to script out my at-bats. They want me to react. But I was definitely going up there thinking, okay, just be a little patient, wait for a good pitch, you know. Like the, the game was in our control at that point, you know, so I had the upper hand. But clearly something happened and I swung at the first pitch. <laughs> As the ball's coming, I, I know you have, like, less than a second. These are, like, all split-second reactions. But when you saw the ball coming, did your initial game plan just go out the window? You're like, all right, I, I can make something out of this. I think that's what happened because it was a good pitch. And I, I don't think she would say it was a good pitch because she kind of left it a little middle in, I think. So she probably was like, oh, shoot. And I was like, Kendall, slow down and wait for this pitch because it – I think at that point I was just like, oh, this is this is the one you got to hit. 